So the hotel reception is around the back. You'll see the Chase Hotel at the front, but you come around the back and you've got a large car park. And then there's the hotel reception. So I shall go inside, get checked in and update you soon. So as you come through the main doors, this is your hallway up to the reception desk. If the reception is unmanned, there is a bell on the desk for you to get the attention of the staff. So I've been allocated room number 26. Rooms number 1 to 12 are on your ground floor, just along the corridor. And the rest of the rooms are upstairs. So we'll head up the stairs and uh, go check out the room. So rooms 14 to 16 are just there on your right and then 17 up to rooms 29 I think it is uh, are all along this corridor. There's no key card to get into the room, it is just a, a standard uh, room key. Just tap it in the lock, turn it and push the door open. <clears throat> so this is the twin room, first impressions. Really clean and uh, absolutely lovely smell to the room it's very very nice uh, it's actually taken me quite by surprise I wasn't expecting it so they are adjoining rooms the beds two single beds On your uh, table, you've got your tea and coffee making facilities. So, have a look, see what they're like. Absolutely spotless. Kettle looks brand new as well. There's no smoking or vaping allowed in any of the hotel. And above the table, you've got your TV. And if you need anything for out of hours, there's a contact number provided. The room is quite warm, so um, just so happens this week, uh, yeah, really hot temperatures, but there is a fan provided in the room should you need it. So, into the bathroom. So, laminate flooring throughout in the bathroom. It's quite a compact size, but do the job. So, you've got your sink, your mirror above and separate light. Got all your towels, hand wash, your toilet behind the door. This room doesn't come with a bath. You've got a cubicle shower. It looks absolutely brand new. Even the glass on the shower cubicle, absolutely spotless. Got to give the cleaners the, at this hotel a bit of respect, you know, even in some larger chain hotels, they aren't this clean, but this hotel, well, well this room anyway, 
Uh, very impressed. So you've got a bedside table at either side of the two single beds. Plenty of plug sockets. Um, there is also USB plugs and it is the same in between the two beds as well so there's no shortage of charging points and to the left of your uh, work surface you've got an open storage area also got your iron board hair dryer and iron in there as well So this room looks out onto the car park. All the windows are fitted with safety and security measures. There is no blinds, it is just curtains. But sometimes the curtains are better. So if you're looking for a nice hotel in the Nuneaton sort of rugby area um, highly recommend this hotel the staff at reception were really helpful as well due to a mix up with the booking the lady on reception managed to sort me a room out and yeah, get me into the room as soon as possible uh, very helpful, very friendly, and yeah. Let's have a quick check of the beds whilst we're here. Yep, all good. Pillows actually got uh, pillow protectors on them, so that's good to see. And the mattresses as well have got mattress protectors and everything is spotless. So you won't have any issues worrying about cleanliness at this hotel. So shortly um, I will go down for the breakfast as well. Show you the, the breakfast. It is part of the Green King pub chain. And there is also the Flaming Grill restaurant attached to the, the hotel. So there's a good choice of food for evening meals and also good choice for breakfast. Um, as I say, I'll go down there shortly and show you what is on offer. The breakfast at the Chase Hotel is, the breakfast room is situated inside the restaurant which is attached to the hotel. This is a, a view of the breakfast room. There is an open fire in here, uh, which was quite nice feature. So you've got a choice of continental items, your tea and coffee, fresh juices, and a selection of bread for your uh, toasting machine and there's the hot water as well. The actual cooked breakfast you order off the menu uh, which one you like whether you want the classic continental which is quite reasonably prices for all the, the breakfasts and shows you what choices you've got on the continental Then you have the, the cooked breakfasts, the full English, vegetarian or vegan, and the children's options. So £9 for a traditional cooked breakfast isn't a bad price. And if you want something smaller, only £4.99. 
Uh, this is the full English breakfast and all the ingredients freshly cooked. For my evening meal I went into the Flaming Grill restaurant attached to the hotel and due to music playing I've had to move the clip to prevent any copyright claims. This is a look around the restaurant, all nicely decorated. It was quite quiet on the night I visited due to it being midweek, probably. As you can see, it's a really nice restaurant, nice and clean, and plenty of space between the tables. You're not all crammed in like some restaurants. The breakfast is also served in a room just to the side of the, the main restaurant. This is the menu. Shows a good selection of things to eat from picky bits, your starters, steaks, burgers. Good choice. And with all the Flaming Grill restaurants, the, the prices are quite reasonable as well. And the portion size, uh, they're usually quite large portion sizes. So hopefully anyone that's coming here, even for the picky eaters, <laughs> uh, you will find something for everyone. Tonight, as I'm going to uh, work later, um, I just went for really straightforward crispy chicken strips, the flame grilled burger, which came with onion rings, and for a dessert, uh, the chocolate fudge cake, which I will be showing you shortly. Once I'm finished looking at the, the menu, so you could see everything that's there. So this is the crispy chicken strips. It comes with a pot of barbecue sauce. They were quite small, but it filled a gap before going to work. This then followed by just the flame grilled burger. I didn't have any cheese with it. I just wanted the plain burger. And then you have the the dessert where I had the chocolate fudge cake, which was came with a, a choice of either chocolate or vanilla ice cream. This was very tasty. And uh, yeah, I would certainly have more of it. So I hope you've enjoyed this look of the hotel and restaurant and I will see you again soon.